This video is going to cover how to import and export program settings and images using the ST2 card um, without any PC connection needed. So I'm starting off connected to my controller, so I am using the Vision Terminal software to get a live remote desktop to the controller. But again, you can do this method of importing and exporting without a connection to the PC. You just need an SD card. So I have an SD card inserted into SD2 slot of the controller right now. And you can see I have a basic program here with a couple tools, pretty simple tools, a pattern tool and then a little cluster tool. So a couple tools. And uh, so let's say I want to download or export these settings and bring them into the simulator. Now, if you want to be able to get some images with the program as well, you need to make sure there's some images in the archive. And in order to do that, you need to be in run mode and run a couple part test parts uh, through the system. Uh, to confirm if you have any images in the archive, just simply click the archive button down below here, as you can see down to the lower right. And you can see I got three images in there right now into the archive. So I should be all good. So I want to download those images as well with my settings. But uh, So just confirm that in run mode. Now to actually export, you need to go to setup mode. So I'm going to go ahead and click, uh, click go to setup mode. And uh, to export the settings to the SD card, simply go to the upper left here and click the same place where you add a new program and copy and all that kind of stuff here. This is where you can do the export function. So I'm going to go ahead and click export. And again, you want an SD2 card inserted at this point, uh, which I have. And you could download just the current program if you like, or you can download selected programs, more than one program. So you can download multiple programs all at once if desired. In this example, I'm going to go ahead and just download only the current program. Uh, which is running on the controller. Now for the folder name, I'm going to go ahead and give it a name called test. So you can call it whatever you want here at this point just to keep track of things. So I'm going to call it test for this example. And then you simply select the files that you want to download. You could just leave everything checked if you'd like. Um, the reference images, the global settings, etc. Program settings automatically will be downloaded, but you can choose the other files if desired. And if you want to download those archived images, make sure you check mark this archived image button here or check bar. If you click details, as a default, it'll go ahead and download the latest 20 images from the archive, good or bad. You could also specify per judgment here if you want. So you could say a specific amount of OKs, and a specific, specific amount of no goods if you'd like. And you could even create a separate folder in the simulator for the OK images and the no good images if you'd like, if you want to separate those out. Um, what I'm going to do is just simply just leave it the default, the latest 20. And when you're ready, simply click execute. And what it'll do, it'll output or export all those settings that you've selected to the SD card. So the, the amount of time that it takes will depend on the how many program settings and how many images that you're downloading. Um, so if you have a lot of images that you're downloading, it might take longer than if there's not so many images. But what you should get when it's done is a, a save successful here. So hopefully we're almost there. And here we go. So hopefully you get a save successful message here. So you can just simply close that. And you can go ahead and close this menu out. So now the files are stored in the SD2 card. So we are going to go ahead and eject the card. To do that, you can go from the utility menu and just simply click remove SD card. And it will turn off the SD card and for safe removal. So we're going to go ahead and remove that card. And then we're going to bring it over to our PC. So that's the first step in this process. Okay, this next step here, now we've downloaded or exported our settings from the controller to the SD card. You want to bring the SD card to your PC. Uh, most laptops have an SD reader built in. Uh, if not, just use a USB SD card reader to insert your SD card. And you can see in my example here, it assigned letter E to it, the drive letter E. And what you can see here, I just want to show you what the files look like. It created a CDX folder with a workspace folder, and there's our test. So the files are there if you want to look at them. They're all on that SD card, but I just wanted to show you what they look like. So in my case, it's live uh, drive letter E. So if you want to import this, import those settings into the simulator, what you need to do is click this export import button. And what that'll do is it'll bring up an import export uh, menu here and click the import tab. So we're on the import tab right here and notice that you can choose your drive letter and it's drive letter E in my case. And there's our test uh, settings that we exported from the controller. So if we want to import this, into the simulator, we can select an existing workspace if we like, or you can choose to add a new workspace. So in this case, I'm going to add a new workspace uh, with these settings. So I'm going to click the top button here, or top uh, selection, and click import. So it's going to ask me to give it a name. So I'll go ahead and give it a name. Call, I'll just call this test as well, just for example purposes, and click OK. And what it will do is it will import 
all those settings and images that we just exported from the controller into our simulator. So I can go ahead and close this window. And if you check out, we've got a simulator now from the simulator window here. We have a simulator called test. And we can go ahead and launch it. It'll launch into a simulator. Let me bring this over. And you can see that it downloaded our program settings and those three images from the archive are simply downloaded into our uh, simulator. So what we're going to do now is we can go ahead and edit our tools and do whatever we want. Or if you need to send the files to someone, um, you could zip the folder up and send it in for support, for example. So this is the simulator. Let me close this for a second here. I'll close this out of the way. If you want to see where the files are, you can simply go from the workspace menu here and open uh, open folder. So have the, select your workspace and go to workspace, open folder, and what it'll do is it'll open up the folder and where these things are stored. You can see as a default or where all the simulators are stored are in public documents, key ints, C1, CVH1X. And you can see there's our test folder. If we open this up, you can see it's got the SD1 card. So these are all our simulator files. So if I wanted to, I can just simply zip this up, send to a compressed file. Now, depending on the size of it, it's not too big, I can go ahead and just email this workspace. And I can see it's 28 megabytes. So it might be size prohibitive, but if it's not too big, you can literally send this workspace to a coworker or in for support. This next section of the video will show you how to export your settings from the simulator software and then import them onto the controller. So if you make any offline changes to your program that you want to be reflected on the controller, you can do that as well. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and launch that simulator that we created called Test. So you can see it here. So the, the offline simulator works just like the controller, so I can add tools, edit tools, do whatever I want. So I'm going to go ahead and add uh, just a simple color tool, just for example purposes. So I'm going to add a color component tool, and uh, I will do that on the normal image. So you can see here, we'll just add this tool, and I'll just leave the default settings here just for example purposes. So we add this tool, and uh, what you can do is you can test it with the simulated images if you want, and you can even go to run mode in the simulator and uh, just test out the tool so you can make sure it works to your liking that kind of stuff so let's say we're happy with it what we do is we close the simulator and then what we're going to do is we're going to click the import export again once the import export window opens up here you can see so what we'll do is this time we'll click the export tab from the software here and you can see there's our workspace again you can uh, this search window by the way you can search workspaces by names if you wanted to so that's why that's only showing the one workspace. So now we want to export from the workspace to our drive E again. Again, that's our SD card that's inserted in the drive. So I'm going to, I'm going to just export it to the same test workspace that we exported from the controller earlier. So it'll export our current settings and it'll give you a message if you want to overwrite. So that's going to simply export the new settings from the simulator to the SD card. So now I can go ahead and take this SD card over to the controller and import the settings. So I'm going to go ahead and close that out and then we're going to move our SD card back over to the controller. Okay, I've now inserted the SD card into the SD2 slot of the controller that has our new settings on it. So what we'll do is we'll now import the new settings onto the controller. So what I'm going to do is launch the remote desktop again here. You see I'm connected to the controller. Again, this can be done right on the controller with no PC connection needed if you want to. Um, so to import the new settings, you go to the same menu, program menu, upper left, same place we did the export, but this time now we're going to do the import function. So click on import. Now what you could do is you could, again, you could do all settings if you want, leave it set for all, and let's, if they had, say you had multiple programs, you want to just load them all at once, you could do that. Or again, you could just do selected programs. So if you're going to do selected program, you want to just go ahead and find that uh, Use this source menu here to find that folder that contains our settings. In this case, it was the folder called test. And you can see our program number one shows up here in the uh, menu system here. And again, you could choose the files, uh, file types that you want to load in. In this case, uh, we want to load just the program settings. But again, you could leave these all check marked if you wanted to. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and just load the program settings themselves. If you change anything with the reference images, you would want to load those too. But if you haven't changed it, you don't need to reload those. And uh, as a default, it's going to go to the next available program number, but if you want to keep it to the same program number, I'm just going to change that back to 1, so it'll load program 1 back into program 1. And then when you're ready, simply click Execute. 
It'll give you a warning message that you're going to overwrite the file in the folder, which is fine. I mean, we're over we're overwriting our new settings, so as long as you're happy with that, click OK. And what you'll see now is that the new tool has been added to the system here. And if we hit the trigger here, run some images, you can see the the new tool is in there. And then we can go to run mode and simply run this tool on the controller. So now it's part of the program that's actually on the live controller. So you can see it's pretty easy to import and export settings using an SD card uh, with no PC connection needed. And uh, it's the simulator is a nice function to make offline changes or just confirm testing offline or simply to back up your settings.